Hello, my friends. Welcome back to The Chosen's Blended Harmony of the Gospels. We are on Day 20, Part 3, The Good Samaritan. The Good Samaritan is in Luke 10, starting at verse 25. Then an expert in the law stood up to test him, saying, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law? He asked him. How do you read it? The man answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. So far, so good. You've answered correctly, he told him. Do this and you will live. But wanting to justify himself, he asked Jesus, Who is my neighbor? Jesus took up the question and said, A man was walking down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of robbers. They stripped him, beat him up, and fled, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the road. When he saw him, he passed by on the other side. In the same way, a Levite, when he arrived at the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, on his journey, came up to him, and when he saw the man, he had compassion. He went over to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on olive oil and wine. Then he put him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said, Take care of him. When I come back, I'll reimburse you for whatever extra you spend. Wow! Which of these three do you think proved to be a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? The one who showed mercy to him, he said. Then Jesus told him, Go and do the same. I love the story of the Good Samaritan, don't you? I always loved it as a child. But I understand now a little bit more about the Samaritans. So, the Jewish people, some of them were exiled and they were put into different countries and then they intermingled with these other people. And the Samaritans are some where they had people there and intermingled with the Jewish people. So, of course, the Jewish people only want pure Jewish people to be marrying and living over here. So they hate Samaritans. And a lot of times when they would be traveling down, they would go all the way around Samaria instead of going through it, which would be shorter. So it's interesting how Jesus picked one of their enemies to be the good guy of the story. So here we have it. So first of all, the expert in the law is trying to trick Jesus, of course. They're always trying to trick him. And they say, what should I do to inherit eternal life? And then he asks them about the law. And he says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind. And to love your neighbor as yourself. That's awesome. We do need to love the Lord our God with all our heart and mind and soul and strength. And to love our neighbor as ourself is a very good way to be living. So Jesus is like, yeah, so far so good. You have answered correctly. But then he tries to trick him by saying, who is my neighbor? And so Jesus uses a story with a Samaritan. And back then, Samaritans were hated by the Jews. Okay, so then here he tells the actual story. And so a man is going from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he's robbed and stripped and beaten and left for half dead. And the first person that comes is a priest. Now, you would think a priest would stop, right, and help him, but no. Pass by on the other side. Like, what's he doing? Like, I can't see you? Like, going like that? Like, I mean, the man is laying right there. Of course you can see him. And then a Levite, who's a holy man, same thing. Passed by on the other side. But finally, a Samaritan on his journey came up to him when he saw him had compassion. There's the word right there. He wasn't too busy. He stopped and had compassion. He went over, bandaged his wounds, pouring on olive oil and wine, and then put him on his own animal, which means then he's walking, right? And brought him to an inn and took care of him and took out two denarii, which remember a denarii is like a man's full day's wages, told the innkeeper, take care of him. When I come back, I'll reimburse you for the extra. Wow. Talking about going the extra mile with someone. I mean, it would have been good enough to maybe bandage him and just hope someone else would come by, but he put him on his own donkey. Now that the man's walking and carried him all the way to an inn, that could have been good enough. That was more than the Levite and the priest did, right? He could have told the innkeeper here, now he's your problem. I got him off the road and left. But no, he paid for him to be there a couple days and said, when I come back again, I'll pay you the extra if it's more than that. I mean, wow, that is really going above and beyond. That would be like me finding someone on the road, taking them to the hospital and paying for their hospital bill. I mean, I'm not sure if I would do that for a stranger, would you? I mean, hospital bills can be expensive. But he did it because he was doing the right thing. And Jesus was using this example to show that even our enemies can do the right thing. And sometimes they put us to shame. And I know sometimes I have not done the right thing. I know we are all guilty of that. But today, let's commit to be looking around 
and everyone around us because everyone is our neighbor. Everyone's in need. Everyone needs the love of Jesus, right? So today let's commit that we are going to be like that good Samaritan. Even if it's somebody that has been mean to us at work or whatever, we are just going to turn a new page and we are just going to be helping everyone around us physically, maybe paying for bills. Maybe someone you know is sick, you can bring them supper. Or maybe financially, you can be paying somebody's bills. Or spiritually, you can be pouring into people, inviting them to church. There's so many ways that we can be the Good Samaritan. So I hope you're pumped up right now. I am. I'm going to start looking around for people that I can help because there are so many people in need. And when we help, then we are showing God's love and we're also honoring God. So I hope today you go out and be a Good Samaritan. Post down below what you did. I would love to hear it. And come back tomorrow for more exciting stories about the Gospels of Jesus Christ. See you tomorrow. You can get your own copy of A Blended Harmony of the Gospels by The Chosen simply by going to thechosengifts.com. There you can find all kinds of wonderful merchandise to help build your faith this year. Be sure to check out their devotionals and their Bible studies. Have a blessed day.